Hey, how's it going, guys? Just wanted to make another short build video for you guys, um, showcasing my Allosaurus build. Um, I noticed a lot of people have been playing the Allosaurus, and I just want to share with you guys my build for the Allosaurus. And it's not the strongest dino, um, but I've had a lot of fun playing this dinosaur. It's, it's, a, it's a nice tail riding dinosaur. It's pretty fun. Um, and I just want to apologize for stuff, too. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've had COVID and um, trying to get my voice back and stuff. It's, it's pretty good right now, but... Um, yeah, just trying to get through some of that, so I do apologize for the audio quality and things like that. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into the build. So we'll start, as always, with the subspecies. Um, for here, we have we just go with balanced. For the subspecies, I found that balanced is just it's just good. I mean, I know a lot of people go with um, the defense one and the speed one. I do see a lot of that. I think balanced is good. It's right in the between. I've never had any issues with it, and I find that balanced is good to have a little bit of speed and to have that. The defense is right in the middle, so you know um, I found balance to be the way to go for me and the way that I play. So um, I, I don't really think that this matters. Your subspecies matters that much when it comes to an Allosaurus. To be honest, speed build might be pretty good for tail riding. Um, the defense build would be good for staying in the fight. It really is up to you um, how you want to do it. But I just went with balance. I like the look of it uh, cosmetically. Let's jump into the abilities here. So first off, we have the head. We have two different attacks. Um, I haven't unlocked this one, but I have fought an aloe that was using this, and it was very, very bad. It was not a very good attack at all. It just puts a lot of bleed on the dino, and as long as they know how to do like counter the bleed, it doesn't really do much to them. Maybe in a group setting it might, but playing solo or playing in, you know with one or two friends. I don't find the hatchet bite to be that good. So we go with bite. It does a good amount of damage, and it's a good spammable attack to have on the aloe when you're tail riding. It's going to be your main source of damage when you're tail riding. Um, moving right over to the front limb, we run claw attack, which is um, basically a bleed attack. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, um, but it does put a nice bleed. I find that if you're fighting a dinosaur about the same size as the aloe, if you can get about two claw attacks within the fight on them and just use your bite and tail ride and maybe you know tail attack and things like that you only really need two claw attacks on them to get a nice amount of bleed on the on the opponent that you're fighting so we run claw attack for the bleed there's also no other option to run um, for the hide I run uh, the tough hide for the increased armor 15% increased armor I run this because you know I, where I'm running the balance I can really just jump between any of these but I feel that my speeds enough I never had to unlock this so I just run the tough armor uh, increased 15% uh, armor because I found that that helps me stay in the fight a little bit longer when it comes to raptors biting you and stuff I do feel that resilient scales is nice but raptors is just they put a lot of bleed on you anyway and the, the bleed healing is good but you're better off just for every other fight um, being tanky and when it comes to raptors you really just have to try to burn their stam out and play near water. Honestly, the aloe is not very strong against raptors, if, especially if there's more than one of them. If there's, I've, I've been able to take two on and kill them both, but um, I do recommend not fighting raptors on aloe because you don't have any slick scales, as you can see. So, run the tough scales. This is the best that I've found uh, so far. For the legs, uh, I never tested these ones out too much because I really found there was no need to. They don't really interest me. Um, increasing turn and speed is nice, but you're losing 30% stamina recovery. That's kind of crucial on aloe. You, you want to have that stamina come back up in a long, uh, drawn-out fight. <clears throat> um, strong legs, reducing the knockback, and bone break healing. I mean, to be honest, I try not to fight anything that really gives me bone break. Like, Rexes do so much damage. The only time I'd fight Rexes is if um, I had maybe three aloes in a group, you know? If there's three of us, I, I wouldn't really... Uh, I don't really fight too many Rexes, just solo anyways on Allo. So, <clears throat> I don't really run this. I run the long distance runner uh, because it increases, or sorry, reduces my stamina drain by 15%. So, helps that stamina stay up longer while you're tail riding. <clears throat> and then, uh, last but not least, we have the tail attack, which causes a little bit of knockback, but it also does damage. It's good for, like, swooping in and getting a little tail attack on the face of a dino that's standing still. Um, but this dinosaur is mainly a tail rider, which just means essentially once you get up behind a dinosaur um, you just you're just gonna chase them and bite them on the back uh, and avoid their attacks now I have a few clips I'm gonna show you guys in a second here um, regarding this and uh, in those clips you'll see me fight like a uh, I fight an iguanodon in one of them 
And you'll know, I have a Spino with me, but he doesn't do anything in the whole fight because he's you know he's pretty slow and we're just staying ahead of him. Um, so my buddy was on the Spino, so I appreciate him being my backup, but he wasn't able to really take part in the fight. Um, in that fight, though, uh, you know I'm chasing the Iggy, and the Iggy, the Iguanodon has a really strong kick, a back kick, like kind of like a donkey kick, and it hurts a lot. So you have to kind of like bait the attack out when you're tail riding. So that's basically what I was doing in that fight, as you'll see in a moment. I was tail riding him and baiting his attack out so I didn't get hit by it a lot. And because of that, you don't really like need to worry about you know having you know reduced knockback or anything like that. That's why we want that long distance runner. We want to be able to chase something and chase it down. And a few other clips of just you know fights that the Allo is really good at. So uh, yeah, I just want to share with you guys my Allo build and. And there it is. I also want to say thank you guys so much for all the subs and the likes and the, the follows. And uh, it's I appreciate it so much. It really just cheers me up to see all that. I'm glad that, you know, people are getting some use out of these videos that I'm putting out. So uh, I appreciate you guys very, very much and for joining my channel. And I uh, hope to build a community out of this. And so I, it's been really excited to just see things go and, and grow and, and, um, and all of that. So without further ado, stay t uh, tuned for all the clips the PvP, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.
really don't like semi-aquatics. Yeah. I wish you made a Suko before and then made a Rogue. What's up, Suko? I'm trying to tail ride him and I can't. Get behind him. Other person just chose Lova. <laughs> Why? Other person just chose Conduit. semi-aquatics, I'll say it again. He was bloodied. I hate semi-aquatics. Hello. Hello, full row. Oh yeah. Well, I better hey, be I'm awake now. Uh, Chan, you said your your marks. Right now. Oh. Chance is in it now to win it. How you just took all the death caps? You didn't even leave me in. Sorry, right, bro. No, you wait. Trying to power it some quests right quick. Be real fair. This quest do pretty fast. Somewhere. I'm still a juvie yet. There you go. You have that quest. I'm gonna go check what the thing is going I'm leaving you, Chance. Good job. Oh. Good job, Chance. There we go. Kinda of bloody too. Oh, Whoa. that's not, uh, that's not Christine. I thought that was Christine. What do you mean? Are you hiding, Christine? Not me, bro. I'm like, I might even get into it yet. Oh, okay. Killed him. He went down, bro. Like now we go kill Chance, hurry. No. I'm not that Let's hurt. Let's get him while he's hurt. I'm not that hurt. I got stuck on the rocks. It's actually good. I got stuck on the rock. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> What's gonna hurt? He's gonna hurt. Oh, jeez, charging him. <laughs> I can't see the tree. You can push him back towards oh, I, me. I, I'm doing I, I got him. Again. Hang on a second. I got this. Oh, he missed the kick. He missed the kick. Oh, you could spam that kick? I didn't know that. Oh. So what, uh, which creature? Wanted on. I'm 
I'm taking them apart. So many legs. This is, this is going pretty good in my favor right now, Nick, anyway. That was fun.